I don't know. The good news for Sedge, considering what's happened to him, uh, sort of. He, he, he cannot be bluffed at this stage, and he has suffered a little bit from being bluffed. Not necessarily. He could still be. He could still fold. He could still be bluffed. Highly unlikely that he will be bluffed. But it'd be interesting to see if you can be bluffed. See, let's see. Let's see. Is there a burglar allowed? Let's see if he can be bluffed. What you got there? Uh, 400. Two aces. 400. <laughs> 400. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think this is somewhere on the, among that, that, uh, Come on, that old uh, <laughs> that old chestnut tell nothing. <laughs> Sedgley's in a great spot, actually. This is his second time all in and second time in great shape. He's going to be sticking around for a long time to come yet. Oh, what a bad flop for me. Bad hand for me. Good to get the moan in early. Early, yes. Sedge says anything but the nine. Yeah, anything but the nine. There's the nine. Yeah. Anything but the eight, says Tony Cascarino. I need a king. That's. I don't think that's changed anything. King or eight? King or eight? King, you win. And tens end. Nines. Sedge. Uh, okay, stay. Okay, mate. I think he's learned a bit and made it last from Tottenham. And he's going to go out midfield. Right, my highs were a pair of kings. That's the best hand I had, and I should have won it. Um, uh, low points. Um, Silly, silly mistakes I made, really, but I see that's it's only learning from experience. Um, yeah, got to be out, but I, you know, I wasn't first out, so that's uh, the only plus side. Down to three, and really, the question: Can Whiteside make a move? He looks up for it. He looks well prepared, but he's got his work cut out as far as the players in. It's a repeat of last year. A replay. We saw Norman Whiteside go out first in this situation. Can he change to get further up the pecking order? One thing that you've noticed about yeah. Whiteside's game Race this evening is that uh, he's been tighter and nice. more aggressive when he's in a pot, both of which are attributes <coughs> that can only make your poker better. Cool. Cool. Mm. Oh, this, those, he loves those sevens, doesn't he? Nice. Third time he's had a pair of sevens. He's not raising with them. Well, he has got a disguised hand, should a seven whiz down on the board again. I think if parlor checks, Norman must bet. Check, check. Oh, he should have identified that he was yeah. in front there. If parlor checks the turn, Norman <laughs> must bet. What about check. the river? Check. <laughs> if parlor checks the river, Norman must, must bet. Must bet. I think he's getting ready to. He's going to bet now. I think he's, I'm he's pretty sure. Oh, it's a certainty. Oh, oh, he's played this perfectly. He's induced the bluff. What? It's been his plan right. from the beginning. Right. It's been right. his plan from the beginning. You're right. You're so right. He would never have gotten a centavo out of parlor at any other stage in the hand. Yeah. Have a little of that, Ray, says Norman. <laughs> I wonder where that. Lines are up. There's 70 and 150. <laughs> You know, I have to say, Steve, this could be Norman's uh, Norman's strategy. Yeah. His plan against uh, Parlor is to let these guys go at him and to just be the backstop. Sort of a change in. Um, I mean, if you think about, if you think about Norman's sort of his career in sports, he was probably known as one of the most dangerous and aggressive players ever to be on a pitch as far as a scoring threat. And uh, here he is. Rice. He's he's slow playing. He's trapping. Three more. Three hundred more. Cool. This is uh this has got Tony completely on the outside right now. 
I mean, Cascarino, the last thing he expected here is to get called by Norman Wines. He's looked back down at his jack six and thought, oh gosh, what kind of trouble am I in? Now just a question, if Norman can sort of, is he, does he realize how strong the ace-10 is right now? Go on. Oh, get go in there. Get him, white side. <laughs> the youngest player to score ever in an FA nice. Cup final. And now, scoring in this Sports Stars Challenge 3. He's not to be put off. You cannot question this man's heart. People that, um, like I say, know me will probably say I'm a bit cautious with my money. Um, I mean, I can be generous at the same time, but when it comes to the table, I just don't like to, to lose. I mean, I, I'm, most sports people are, are, are winners, born winners, and, you know, I'm no different. But, you know, you just don't like to lose that, even if it's 5p or <laughs> 5 pan or 20 pan. You don't want to lose, because we've just born with a winning instinct, and we all just want to win. Well, they're not. See, this is the type of hand. He's just got to push up oh. through the yep. gears a bit more, perhaps a raise. But having said this, <coughs> oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. It, it could work to his advantage, couldn't it? Mm, I'm not see what the flop brings. But I mean, the interesting thing is, I still believe that Cascarino and Parlor sort of may have a propensity to try and buy this if it gets soft played. Well. This is, I think this is Jack. how Norman is going to win Jack. this. Like 200. Checking. 200. Could have checked it, but uh, nice. didn't have to. Not guaranteed the parlor's going to fold. No. He should do. I think he should He should recognize that Norman bets when he's got a good hand. Well, whether or not, it's a bad kicker as well, isn't yeah. it? Whether or not Ray's hand is good, this is going to be a bad situation for him. He nice. realizes that. Even if his hand is good, it's expensive to find out. It's a rough thing to take on, and there's a lot of scary cards, and he knows. Parlor's no pretty folly. Yeah, oh, it I mean, Cascarino is I'm a great late. poker I'm player. Late. You can't, you can't help but can sort of that. cheer on the underdog right. because you know yeah. Cascarino has so many what weapons to his game, uh, Steve. You know, he's he's a really nice local player to watch. He's, he's done a lot of things really well tonight. Oh, yes, but I mean, as commentators, um, nice. the nice. football heat, it's only fair that we cheer on the underdog. This is the FA Cup. I think you're right. And uh, White go. yeah, he's got a couple of options. <coughs> wow, this is a big hand. Certainly one of them. Cool. Cool. And a lot of money already in the pot. Yeah, I mean, there's two things. What will Norman do if the ace comes, and what will Parler do if the ace doesn't come? Soon to be revealed. Oh, the ten comes. Mm, ugly flop for the fours. Check. Is this a trap by Ray Parler? Yeah. Or just protecting? <laughs> Now this is open up. This is this pot is open sesame here. Three hundred. And I think Parlor has just stuck this in because he has absolutely no idea what will happen if he checks. That's Best result. He's certainly going to find out where he stood. <coughs> no quarter given here. 70 to norm. Mm -hmm. 70. Sorry, sorry. Cascarino from the button. And the truth is, nice. in this 70 and 150 level, sorry? there has not been that much ground made by anyone. Uh, do you think cool. it's because of cards, cool. or is it just a little stalemate here? Nobody's really no become that aggressive. <coughs> Tony Cascarino folding a king three-handed on the button. Did he now? This looks like parlor. It could go check, check, and bet on the turn. Check. Check. Rail have a little 
little lunch on it. 